welcome. I was not going to let you get away okay, with that. Okay, I, I apologize. I, I was not like on the ball. That's what's going on? Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's been a kind of a busy morning doing I, double I, duty. Really? And... I, she did traffic this morning. She anchored the news this morning. She done everything this morning. Take a Terracoo, two kids, a husband, the whole nine yards. A dog. A dog. I just show up. My so phone, your phone was dead. Working. I I luckily woke up at two forty seven this morning. You are and I was so like, lucky. Why did my alarm not go off? What time is it? Where am I? And my phone was completely dead. Thank you, Peter Canoni, for helping me. Oh, he works in IT here and yeah, he helps us on helps so us many fronts. So many ways. Mm -hmm. So it's back working. You can call me now if you want. 860. <laughs> Operators are standing by. <laughs> All right, let's talk weather, okay. shall we? Yeah, is it uh, cold out? Yeah. It's, you know, it's a little chilly out there this morning, uh, but as you can see from our first alert live radar, we are scanning the state dry. Let's take a look at future cast. We're going to see intervals of sun during the day today. It's trying to paint a picture where half the state is cloudy and half the, half the state is sunny. We're just going to wait and see if this wins out. I think we're going to see some clouds. This is 6 p.m. The clouds are with us. They're thick tonight. Their cloud coverage uh, prevails tonight through tomorrow morning. And then it tries to hint at a little bit of partial clearing late in the day tomorrow. We'll notice the clouds are back with us, but by 3 p.m., 5 p.m., sort of how they all kind of go away. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens, but I'm going mostly cloudy with some intervals of sun. Temperatures today, mid-30s, uh, right around 35, 36, 37 for the shoreline, and your three-day forecast breaks of sun today. Imagine that. Imagine seeing the sun, how awesome that would be. Wednesday, more clouds than sun. And Thursday, a mostly cloudy day, but at least it's going to be mild with temperatures in the low to mid 40s. All right. Not Sounds bad. pretty. No, not bad. Not bad. Dry, Nicole. Dry. 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 Just like a fine wine. Just like a dry. fine wine. We're dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, here are some of your top stories this morning. Can you believe it's day 13 of the well. Michelle Traconis trial? And she's accused of playing a role in the disappearance of missing mom Jennifer Dulos back in May of 2019. Ajora needed to be replaced yesterday after saying they had an emergency and needed to leave the country. Now, a total of three jurors or alternates have been dismissed so far. Yesterday, Today, State Police Detective John Kimball was back on the stand. Today, we're expecting to hear more testimony from State Police Sergeant Michael Boyton. The evidence in the uh, the evidence in the case. The state is calling him back to the stand, so mm -hmm. we're gonna have to wait and see what happens today. But of course, you can catch the trial, gavel to gavel, right now on WFSB Plus. We're there every step of the way, and uh, Matt McFarland's doing a great job covering really the story. Is. Yeah, this is just you know everyone's on the edge of their seats. Of course. And then on top of it, you have a little bit of drama with the the uh, the juror uh, the. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Jurors. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right? Jurors. Yeah. Yes, the jurors. <laughs> little mom brain there. It's okay. Woo! Uh, yeah, it's... So, they've had issues, right? They're, they're right now, they were down two, then they had a, an alternate uh, come in, so it's just... It's a lot going on a there, whirlwind. a lot of moving parts. And this, uh, we're at the start of week three of what's expected to be a six-week trial, so we're going to have to see if they keep it on track. We'll see. We'll see. Chugga, chugga, choo-choo. All right. Happening later this morning, Senator Blumenthal is sounding the alarm on what he calls dangerous baby sleep sex. I'm sure you're familiar with these. Very familiar, and I have a lot of friends who used these. We oh. never did, but uh, okay. we almost did. Now, Senator Blumenthal and some others are now saying that these weighted sleep sacks may actually increase the risk of SIDS and oh. some other serious health concerns. The American Academy of Pediatrics is among those who have come out against these products. Plus, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institutes of Health are also cautioning parents against weighted sleep products. But the two major companies that make these garments, Dreamland Baby and Nested Bean, claim that weighted infant sleep sacks are safe for infant use. Now, the recommendation still by the AAP is to make sure that your child is sleeping on their back uh, and make sure that they're, you know, there's no blankets, there's nothing impeding because you don't want them to suffocate. You don't want any loose bumpers, anything like that, which is really hard for a lot of parents who, for example, my mom, the norm for her when she had my brother and I mm -hmm. is the opposite of what they recommended when I started having kids. So there's so many different schools of thought, but... All in all, um, you know, the AAP is just saying that this is not safe. Okay. Please do not use this. And we have Senator Blumenthal talking at Connecticut Pediatrics um, in Hartford about this. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what they, what they come up with. Yeah, it's good. So if you got it out there, you might want to stop using it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. Uh, this year's Super Bowl game uh, is going to be between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Neither team did I want in there, but, you know, there, there you have it. It became the most expensive Super Bowl on record. Yeah, it's so expensive. Listen to this. Okay, I'm ready. 
TickPick, as of Monday, says the ad, that the average price to attend the game is around $9,800. Do you know what kind of vacation you can go on for $9,800? Oh Do you know that you could put a down payment on a house in some towns in the United States for $9,800? It's crazy. It's actually 70% more expensive than oh last year. Oh, my gosh. 70%. Now, the current and cheapest ticket price is around $8,100. It's absurd. I know. It, it, when you're talking that kind of money in the thousands for one game, right? One game. But last year, the cheapest ticket was priced at nearly $6,000. Well, I guess you get to see Taylor Swift and the Super Bowl <laughs> and Usher. Yeah. You get to see a lot of things going on at this year's Super Bowl. You think Taylor Swift has had an influence on the prices? Uh, I think I think it's definitely come into play. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so, too. I wonder if, like, they're going to have, like, a Taylor cam or something. Oh, 100%. You know? I, just, I, I wonder how she's feeling. I feel really bad for her. Oh, like, well, leave I know. her alone. Let her just, like, be in a relationship. Have You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, how do you feel yeah, about feel that? Exactly. Exactly the same way. She's like under a microscope constantly, but I know, I know that her go job gives way to that. But exactly. still, it's just let them be a couple. But. All right. <laughs> Super Bowl 58 is February 11th in Las Vegas. And if you don't want to pay the big bucks for the ticket, you can watch it all right here for free on Channel 3. Yeah, $9,800. How about you save some and just tune in here? Yeah, free <laughs> at 3. All right. You don't have to pay a wild price to catch the game. In fact, again, it's going to be right here on Channel 3, February 11th. We just discussed that. Mm -hmm. We so, did. And it's twice, <laughs> and it's in there in the prompter twice, and I'm reading it again. And I'm still trying to scroll. That's okay. Do, Good. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> Buying and selling a home.